Okay, Libra, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your reading this week. So we got Five of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Shut it down, Libra. Okay, and then we have... It seems like heavy cards, but... It's not, because you have the Lovers, the King of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Okay? Coming out smelling like a rose, Libra. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups. Looks like a rough start, and it's pretty solid, if I may say. So, if you have the... Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Some, you just shut down. Just like, nope. Seven of Swords, somebody is pushing buttons, trying to get their way, etc. People say it's like the cheating card, etc. I find that a little, you know, if we're only talking about a week, that's a lot to put into one week, right? But there's something that um, potentially might have been building because you don't just Five of Pentacles on the fly you know it's something has been kind of irking and somebody could have been pushing 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 this lovers is a decision you know gemini as well uh but there's air sign energy so hello libra then somebody i think comes out on top potentially but with this king of swords he, he is the one making the decisions of who gets the attention now we'll clarify but i think Libra, you know, if there was competition for something, you were chosen. I'm not going to say it's a relationship. It could be job. It could be something else. But, like, you come out on top because there was some decision, action that had to take place, and you get what you want. I mean, pretty clear. But this is, like, the accolades that comes along with it. You know? You're just like, oh, look at me up on my horse. So what is Libra working on getting here? Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, it's, you're, I feel like back here, whatever you let go of just kicked a door open for you. <laughs> like, hypothetically, say you broke up with somebody. That's your Eight of Swords reversed. Like, I'm, I'm out of here. You know when, like, you come out of a relationship and everyone's like, oh, wait, Libra's single? What? And everyone's like, hey, hey, you know, because like, I think you get that mojo back where you're like, no, 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 I do have it. I actually never lost it. And now I'm going to give it to somebody who like gets it. Because what's on this other side of Libra with this eight? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, if you're freed up, it's like, well, now what? Like you got what you want, but now you're being kind of smart about what you do do with it you're not just rushing in you're kind of freeing yourself up and you're keeping your eyes peeled i potentially if this is a relationship thing someone's trying to watch what you're doing now because they're back here like but i pushed all the buttons you know like, yeah that's exactly why moron so with this six of wands what is libra getting attention for here that's too many what's libra getting Oh, um, you mean someone who's not going to go kicking down the door or rocking the boat just for the sake of it? Here we have the Page of Cups, the Tower Reversed, and the Three of Pentacles. You have somebody that is collaborative. You have somebody who is just kind of innocently offering you this, and they're just like, you know, no, we're not going to have blow-ups. We're not going to have this craziness. We're just going to kind of work on things. It's like they're bringing the best qualities to the table. Or this could literally just be you being like, here's what I want. You know, you, you state your case and you get it. Because here's the Page of Swords. I just want to see what this Page of Swords is about. Two of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like when if there's any indecision about how to move forward with a relationship or something you deeply care about, you kind of get that clarity. And if it goes, if it isn't someone watching you, I feel like you're watching to get the clarity of how we're moving forward. But I feel like this kind of emergence coming from you, where you're kind of like coming up again, because here's temperance. So there's, there's Sag, there's, you know, Gemini, you know, 
you got a, you got a lot of you know got all the elements on the deck here but with temperance there's a balance that you're getting but it's like the higher up balance you've been patient you've been chill i think libra may be hitting the point of no chill with that five it's too many so what is this temperance talking about here Hierophant. uh that's also taurus but it's basically like I'm sorry, were you not bringing the correct elements that I needed for this relationship or this job or whatever it may be? And you're more interested about it being done the right way and being fulfilling. And not in a jerk pants way, but it's very, like, decisive. So we're doing the Woodland Wardens, and we have the Sheep and Blackberry, and that's Devotion. Okay? So... See, there's two but we're gonna we're gonna take it because it's the mouse and buttercup and the quail and gooseberry how sweet are these cards they're innocence and anticipation so i feel like and this could this devotion could go a couple ways you were devoted but you have this innocence and anticipation for what you know is in the future or this devotion could be devotion to yourself because you want to have, like, I get this, you know how, like, you get butterflies in your tummy? It's like that kind of vibe. But, like, what you care about is more important than what was going on back here. And I like it. So, all right, that is what I have, Libra, and I'll talk to you later.